Coast today to see how Suncoast can keep your business running smoothly. Or go to a lawyerforus.com. Hi, I am Officer Yvonne Mauricio with the San Antonio Police Department. SAPD is always hiring. You can now complete your application online. If you think you have what it takes to become part of the SAPD family, complete the application at sapdcareers.com. Once you submit your application, you will be contacted within 24 hours to begin the process. The San Antonio Police Department... Man, that commute will really wear you out. Jeez, that was a long drive. What this is, if you're wondering, it's called a wide belt sander. This is an old machine. It's about 20 years old. Finally got it in place. I had a bunch of footage of that process, but I lost that footage, so that's gone. What we ended up having to do is you actually use a come along and drag it across the floor to this position. I couldn't get the forklift in the shop to pick it up or move it with that because it was raining and, it, and we couldn't drive it around through the mud. Um, it came out of a factory somewhere around Atlanta. Um, and I recently purchased this. This is the purpose of this machine is it finish sands and it calibrates. So it'll calibrate any part um, to the exact same thickness within a thousandth of an inch. It has a digital readout here. Um, and it also will sand uh, the, the parts and, and have them almost ready uh, for finish as they come out of the machine. So how it works is you've got a feed belt here. You feed the part in this way. Inside the machine is a, a, a big sanding belt. Um, you can change the grits out and that actually sands the piece. And that's, that's pretty much it. You're gonna get to see this thing in action on this video as we build this dining room table. We'll be running parts through it. I'm excited to have it. It's gonna really speed up our production in the shop. And that's always a good thing. So I'll be shooting a shop tour, hopefully soon, hopefully this month, um, going through the shop and explaining the equipment so you'll get to learn more about it there. Well, that's pretty much it. So I want to tell you a little bit about the nails that I've been pulling out of these boards on this uh, trestle table. So here they are. These are just old square cut nails. Um, I've been pulling a lot of these out of these boards. And the cool thing about finding these is they actually help date the, 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 the material. In order for them to be using these boards in the 1800s to build structures, they had to be milled out of trees that had growing maybe in the 1700s or in the early 1800s. So um, that's what's so cool about finding this stuff is it really gives um, some history and some ti a timeline to the material.
Johnny! Hey. What's up, dude? Hi. You got a flower? Emily, say hi to everybody on YouTube. Hi. Hey, June. Uh, it's gonna get stained, so it'll even wow, out. Wow, look at this. Oh, don't turn that. Okay, cool. It's all right. June, give me a high five. What? You picked even more in the house. Hi, everybody. So I have to introduce my beautiful wife. Oh my gosh. Emily. She's a little bit weirded out because YouTube is weird, <laughs> but she'll get used to it, I promise. Emily, say hi. I already did. <laughs> She's being really awkward. You're going to be in every episode now. <laughs> Jim, what are you doing, my gloves? Yeah. Well, where, where's my dollar then? I like whoa, your tower. Whoa.
All right, so we've got the top on the base. This table is probably 80% uh, of the way done. There's, we still got to finish working on the top. I'm got to cut it to length. I really like how it came out. You know, it's a big kind of bulky, heavy design. The client was going for kind of a farmhouse feel. So I think we achieved that. The, the wood itself um, really speaks. It's a, it's cool old uh, reclaimed wood. You can see the nail holes in the top and uh, nail holes in the base. I tried to incorporate all that and, and let it stand out. So you can see along the edge here, we left all the, the nail holes. Um, there's nail holes in the base as well. These are all kind of things to add character to the table. Um, I wanted to show you guys real quick the underside of this table. So these are called buttons. This is like a clip. The point of these is that they can kind of move side to side so as the table expands, it kind of moves in that slot. It can twist. And it, it keeps the table from locking down. That's a very traditional way of attaching tabletops. It's really the way I attach most of my tabletops is with buttons. If you ever see someone build a table out of solid wood and just screw it to the base, um, that's not good. You don't want to do that because ta tabletops float and move. They expand with the season. So that pretty much does it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned a little bit about the table, about the process for building a dining room table. Um, if you stay tuned in the coming videos, you'll get to see the finishing process on this. We're going to do a real light stain to kind of even out this top. You know, it has some dark and light spots. So we'll do a light stain to even it out and shoot lacquer as a sealer. And this table will be done, ready for delivery. So stay tuned and you can check that out. As always, guys, appreciate you tuning in and see you next time.